Hello everyone, H here. You're here with H. You've seen the title. Today, we're doing a very, very different video than normal. Instead of skits, rants, or looking at weird things, today, we're going to be trying Japanese snacks. And not only that, but vegan Japanese snacks. Now, you obviously don't know this about me, but I eat plant-based for over six years now. So, that's why we're going to be having vegan Japanese snacks, otherwise... Let's get into it and see what Japan has to offer. Now, I found this website, tofuq.com, that has a section with vegan Japanese snacks. If anything in here is not Japanese, it's not my fault. I did not make the mistake, okay? So... We're gonna obviously shove our hand right in there. <laughs> yeah, boy. And we're gonna be pulling out random stuff and trying them. Let's go. Let's see what we're getting first. <gasps> this thing. Can you, can you see that? That right there. So, kind of lucky at the back that there is some words that I can read. So this is a pine or pin i don't a pine throat cooling cherry candy so i'm assuming it's kind of like something mentally i mean there no i don't see any menthol my goodness hey that smells nice though i don't think things oh they're individually wrapped where can I put this? Just leave it over there. Individually wrapped. Can you see that? And we're just going to open it up and shove this little ball in my mouth. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> oh my. Did you hear that? I was not expecting that. But that. Any, any ASMR donies up? You like that? This. So it's not really menthol, but this is so nice. I'm having another. Oh my goodness. These little who knew balls could be so much fun. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I give that an 8 Moving on to the second item This is A toy What is this? A Poppin' Cooking Gummy Land DIY Candy Now guess what Maybe I might do this for a TikTok or something, but at the moment, we are not going to be trying that. So, we're dipping right back in. Oh, hello, smiley. Hi. This, what is this? Listen, I'm going to butcher this, okay? And I apologize in advance. Kawaguchi Mik. Mikanchan Mandarin Orange Hard Candy. Now, I'm assuming this is well, obviously hard candy, but it's like something that you just. It looks like a polo. If any of my uh, UK people, you should know what a polo is. It looks like an orange polo. Put this, put this, open this, and. Because it's hard, let's give it a little suck. Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Yep. It's like... I don't... Oh, do not! Do not! If you ever try these, do not bite it. Almost broke a tooth there. If you've ever had... 
anything that's artificially orange flavored that's what this tastes like and it's nothing really much to say. really nothing really much to say it's orange hard candy Whoa. nah i never knew that i never knew that Middle of the park, give it a five, nothing special, but it's not bad, so, eh, five. By the way, it's been a good five minutes maybe, and yeah, it's still massive. I don't know just how long I'm supposed to keep sucking, but I feel like a girl who's, well, you know where I'm heading with this. I feel like a girl who's finding it very hard for the guy to climax. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. That was a very long time. And my goodness, my jaw. How do you girls do it? I will never know. Okay, what have we got next? By them smiley faces, you know what this is. It's the Kawaguchi, oh, different name now. The Kawaguchi Sakaru, Sakarunbo Sakuranbo Chan Cherry Hard Candy. Oh, I know this is going to be the same, but for the sake of this video, I have to suck again. A great success. Oh, okay. So. It is hard candy, but it kind of looks like the first thing that we tried. Forgot the name of it. Forgive me. So is this like just the same? Is this the same? And this just has no sugar on it or powder of some kind. Police! Police! Whatever powder you're thinking of is powder normal okay let's try it oh, cherry it does taste like that first one. Oh, but it's not as hard as the orange hold on a second that that is this let me show you I'm going to have another because it's very nice. So that hard candy that I just tried is exactly this. Because if you look, can you see that? It is a white ball, similar to that, just with sugar on it. So, I do prefer the one with you know, the white ball. How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. That one was an eight. The normal, just cherry without the, the white powder. I'll give it a six. And the orange, I already rated. So I don't know what I'm talking about. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Oh, very nice packaging. Again, no idea what any of this means. This is a Yuha Ikemo Rainbow Ramoon Soda Mini Candy. Now, I'm assuming it's just going to taste like maybe fizzy drinks. You heard that, by the way. If you did, there is a drink in there. So, quench my thirst. How in the hell do you... Aha. Not so dumb now. <sighs> Look at that. Can you see that inside? This smells like little sherbet. I'm not going to lie to you. It kind of smells like poo. Don't ask me how, but it does. Let's try it. Let's try. If you're wondering why I'm not using my hands, by the way, 
I have this thing where if I touch things, even if it's my own phone, I don't like to use my hands. <laughs> So that's why I don't really use my hands when doing these things. Let's try the purple one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 It's like, again, my UK guys. You know Love Heart, that sherbet. That's what this tastes like. Let me try a different color. Maybe that's different flavor i can't lie didn't really have a flavor it just tasted just like sherbet we have a green one now no not a different flavor it just tastes like sherbet not a big sherbet guy i find it can be quite sickly after a while so I would have to uh, six, give that a six. Right, I'm kind of on the skeptical side about this because I can see what looks like beans. This is a red bean rice cake. Okay, now we're in for a treat. Look, says vegan. Can you see that? Um, do you know how hard it was to find vegan Japanese snacks, by the way? No UK store sells it unless I went to an, a Japanese store, I guess. But even they are quite hard to find. That's, that's how they look in the packaging. I don't want to take them all out for sake of freshness in the future and all that. Let me just... <laughs> oh my... Cut! Right, I've got it open. Ooh, it kind of smells like a cake. I've got it out. By the way, this looks kind of unappetizing and very scary, like an embryo inside. However, it is very soft. Don't know if you can... You can't feel it, but that is very soft. It's got kind of like a cake smell. Let us taste. Mmm. Very gelatinous. There's a big word for you. That's how it looks on the inside. very gelatinous but i know we're trying japanese snacks but excuse my french that's fucking incredible that wow mm. that so far i would say what i would say that's the best one so far if you are able to get yourself somewhere that you can get a bamboo house red bean rice cake. That's 10 out of 10 right there. That's 10 out of 10. Mm. I can still taste it. What is this? A con conito? I don't know how you pronounce this, but can eat sugar candy traditional floral floral pack. That's what it is. You can see that. It's like little. It kind of look like little little flowers you put in your fish's tank or something. I wonder how this will taste. My goodness, that drink is going to be. What am I on about? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Nice little ribbon, by the way. Keep that and... <laughs> so cute. So cute. 
Um, how do I get into this? Anyone know? <laughs> no, because you are not there. Or you are there, but... You know what I mean. Yeah, we'll probably cut to when this is actually open. Yeah, this is probably a good, like, 30 seconds later, and I'm still here. Okay, we've kind of got it open. Oh, right, let's give this a go. Straight in my mouth. Oh, I got two, a green and a blue. If you ever want to know what artificial colours taste like, then you get yourself some Conito Sugar Candy Traditional Flora Pack. That, I'll give that a three, just because of how artificial it is. And... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Moving on from the absolute chemical that was that. What is this? Ooh, little uh, cat or something. It is a... Okay, the word is like scribbled out. But it's a mini animal pore shaped peach remune candy. I have hopes for this peach. Usually peach things are kind of nice. Mm, smells, oh, I'm not gonna let it smells like poo again, but let's go. Oh, okay, I took three in my mouth. Ooh. Sorry, you don't need to see that. Oh! It was soft. I was expecting kind of hard. Pleasantly surprised. I think you can tell if I like this or not because it's finished. I'll give that a nine. That's that's quite nice. It's kind of like sherbet, but peach. Now it's the main event. The absolute big boy. That's a nice bag, by the way. Shout out, Tofu Cute. We got the bubble wrap. Oh, that was a letdown. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, anyway. Oh. It's got a mind of its own. Easy, easy, big fella. Any of my ASMR, guys? Yeah, how'd you like that? Yeah. Oh, I assume it's watermelon. This is Hatakosan, Hat Hatakosan, Ramoon Watermelon Soda. Interesting. Ah, that's enough. It's got directions of how to open it. Why? Oops. What has fallen? What is going on here? Can I not just... Open it like that? Uh, how do you, I mean, asking you guys is a bit of a waste. What fell? So this thing fell. I don't know if this is important in any way. How do you open this? I have to use this. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably cut until I actually get this. So I've had to Google how to open this bottle, right? This thing that fell on the floor, apparently you put it in there and it will like push it open. So let's, let's give this a go. I watched a bloody YouTube video how to do this. Oh my... 
Yeah, so I didn't expect that to happen. Now I have to clean. By the way, that just looks like an absolute dildo is coming out from the bottom. It smells like shit again. Uh, in no way is this disrespect because... Oh. The glass ball thing is now in there. It's kind of like alcohol. How is that watermelon? I'll give it a four because no, I'll give it a one for the sheer fact I now have to clean up. Hello, I'm back from cleaning. So to reiterate, that's a one for the sheer fact you can drink it, but it makes a mess. Maybe that's my fault. If it was my fault, I'd, I'd give it a five. You know, it's, it's okay. Maybe even a four, because it tastes kind of alcoholic. Now, we are going to drink Pikachu. So I bought this uh, separate from the bag of the goodies because I just saw it and I was like, oh, what's this? It's Pikachu and I love Pokemon. So it's citrus flavor sparkling water. Now it says here grapefruit juice and citrus fruit juice. So I'm assuming it will have kind of like a lemony or... I did not expect that. I thought it was going to be like the normal cans, but you pull it. I just make mess. That's what we've learned. That smells nice. That smells nice. That tastes of nothing. Oh, you can taste the sugar. I'll tell you that for free. Oh, but it tastes so good. So in comparison with the other drink, you know, there's not much competition, but I'd give this a seven. It's actually a very nice drink, but obviously with the amount of E numbers that I've consumed, my taste buds are probably on a sugar rush right now. So maybe that's why this tastes so nice. What is that? Has that been there the whole video? Oh, it's from my from my PJs. Absolutely great. Anything else? <laughs> anyway. Maybe I should stop drinking this. But look at my hand. I don't know if you can see it, but like it's gone all like sticky and I know I've been sucking on balls, but come on. <laughs> so that has been me, H. You've been here with H trying vegan Japanese snacks. Now, the standout are these bad boys right here. Yeah. Who knew that beans could taste so nice? Does it say what beans it is, by the way? No, it just says red bean. Whatever you are, red bean, that's a bean that's red. You are incredible. Now, I saw other flavors of this on the website. And you know damn well I'm going to go back there and order more because that is a very nice snack. The drinks, the Pikachu drink was nice. I remember... And, uh, as, no, I, I, promise, like, I, I do remember seeing other drinks on there like a Charmander and a Bulbasaur, I think. So I'm assuming they're different flavors, uh, you know, <laughs> duh. Maybe I'll give those a go too. But yes, the standout are the rice cakes. And this actually, give me a second. Can't forget this bad boy. This is very nice as well. So Japan, you've impressed me. And no doubt I've missed very good snacks, probably. You guys will let me know if you are a Japanese snack connoisseur. 
But remember, I'm plant-based. So don't be giving me like some kind of Wagyu beef strip to try. Because I cannot. I've been H. You've been here with H. That's been me trying vegan Japanese snacks. And I want you guys to let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see me try other vegan snacks from around the world. Let me know the country and I will do my best searching to find them and get them in my throat. <laughs> Peace.